McClendon County reaching a major milestone in the vaccine war this weekend. As of Thursday, 100,000 people are now fully vaccinated. 25 News reporter Andrew Lomparski spoke with county leaders today who say they're celebrating the benchmark, but they still wish that number was much higher. 100,000. This is interesting news. This is good news. Just a little under 47% of all those eligible in McLennan County are now fully vaccinated. That is about half of our population. We're almost there. It's a welcome number for local health leaders after a summer slowdown in June and July. But demand has picked up again. Since the beginning of August, more than 10,000 people have received their last dose. The fact that 100,000 people in McLennan County have been vaccinated is something that I'm celebrating because I trust doctors who have devoted their lives to the study of medicine and believe that this is a good thing for our community. But McLennan County's rates are still low compared to the state as a whole. Waco's trauma service area, which includes McLennan and parts of surrounding counties, has the highest COVID hospitalization rate in the state. Our hospitals are full with the majority of people being unvaccinated, you know, over 90%, 90 to 95 percent every day. The health district says vaccines are a part of the long term strategy to provide protection for months to come. Waco Mayor Dylan Meek says if people are still uncomfortable with the shot, talking to someone they trust might help. Talk to your local doctor if you're still on the fence about this, just like you would any other health care issue. County leaders are hopeful that the area will see the number of fully vaccinated people grow even faster in the coming weeks, as nearly 13,000 have gotten their first dose in the last month. For 25 News, Andrew Lamparski.